Hi, uh, I'm Matt Ion. I'm uh, ECD at Droga 5. My pick of the day is Tide, uh, the Super Bowl work they did. It, you know, I thought the idea of subverting the Super Bowl uh, to make every ad a Super Bowl ad was incredible. Is this a Tide ad or is this another real right. ad? Like, exactly. Is this a Tide ad? Is this one? Is every ad a Tide ad? And like, wait a minute, is, is this, this gonna be a, a Tide commercial? Ad? This year, Tide won the Super Bowl by doing something that's never been done before, turning every ad into a Tide ad. This is how we did it. Yeah, just a typical Super Bowl car ad, right? Or a hilarious beer ad. <laughs> but it's a Tide ad. What? It's a Tide ad. Look at those clean clothes. What else would this be an ad for? A razor? No. Tide ad. Cold, refreshing. <laughs> tie dad. So, does this make every Super Bowl ad a tie dad? I think it does. Within seconds, hashtag tie dad began trending. Soon, millions of viewers were suddenly questioning if every single Super Bowl ad they saw was a tie dad. Then we took the idea further. Hello again, ladies. Is your man the kind of man who would climb the height? <clears throat> I'm in a tight end. And further. Sarah? Sarah? It's a tight end. We even hijacked the live broadcast. Welcome back to another tight end. It was so big that other brands felt the need to say they were not a tight end, including the competition. But it was too late. Hyde stole the show. They kind of hijacked the entire Super Bowl. James, you love the Tide commercial. I said, baby, what are we washing our clothes with? If it's not Tide, we're doing it wrong. The average team really thought this was the best ad in the Super Bowl. And I'm wearing a white shirt making this a Tide tie ad. ad. By the end of the event, we claimed 53 Super Bowl ads without ever showing even one single stain. Because by now, you know it. Whenever you see clothes this clean, that's a tie-dye.